Good morning, Moda Soka. Yes, yes. Welcome to Abuja. <laughs> I was watching Nigerian movies last night, y'all. Y'all gotta forgive me. Anyways, yes, yes, I'm up. Yes, I see all the. I see y'all. I see y'all. My inbox runneth over. My inbox runneth over. People like Eloho, you did it. You're in the Daily Mail. They got your story. And I was just like, eh. You know, honestly, guys, like when I first started talking about this, I saw two girls on Twitter talking about it. And I was like, why is this a thing? And I went over to Instagram and I'm like, dang, nobody on my Instagram is talking about it. And let me, you know, use my 60,000 followers. Let me use that platform to just make people aware. And since then, honestly, people have been doing interviews. People have really been talking about this issue. Like, we really started a movement. I don't want to say I started a movement, guys. We started this. Everyone that said, you know what, that is wrong. Everyone that reposted. Everyone that said, watch Eloho's video. Everyone that we started this. We defended each other in the comments when people called us racist because we were speaking about an issue that's important. And I, I just want to say thank you so much to the people that were like, Eloho, like, don't stop. Keep going. Keep talking about it. Keep going. People called me a bully. Like the same backlash that she's writing about in the article that she got, I get it too. When you speak out about something that the masses disagree with, oh, you're going to get backlash. She wrote in the article, um, well, I guess someone interviewed her and she said, oh, you know, I just don't understand. I'm getting so much backlash. I just don't understand why people are coming for the way I look naturally. First of all, girl, just hang up the natural. Just hang up the natural belt. Hang it up. Because when you got people from your own country commenting in saying, yeah, girl, like <laughs> we from the same part of town. That don't happen over here. So you're definitely manipulating your skin and your photos. But that's beside the point. We did this, y'all. Everybody that hit me up and was like, Eloho, keep going, don't stop. And you know what? That gave me strength to keep going. So that girls all over the world can say, you know what? I don't care how dark I am or how pale I am. My skin is beautiful. My skin is beautiful. Because this is the skin that God put me in. Point blank, period. And I'm not going to let society tell me, oh, you're so pale. You, you, look, you look like you're dead. Or I'm not going to let somebody tell me, society tell me, oh, you're so black, you look burnt. This is the skin that God put me in. I'm going to take care of my skin. I'm going to love myself and I'm going to love others and I'm going to share that with the world. And when you see something that's not right, you have the right to say, hey, you know, that's kind of disrespectful to an entire race. So, yes, I'm glad that um, Snapchat picked it up. The Daily Mail picked it up. We need to really, like, I don't want this topic to be a trend either. I don't want it to be like, oh, this is what's going on in social media. People are upset on social media. It's more than just being upset on social media. So I need y'all to do me a favor. I need y'all to tag Wendy Williams, tag The Real Daytime, tag Ellen, Steve Harvey, anybody that you know, even everyday people, everyday bloggers, everyday platforms, podcasts, tag them. I'm willing to talk. I'm willing to do interviews. I'm willing to spread more light about this topic. I don't just want it to be one-sided because it seems like all of these papers, even though I'm glad they're shining light about it, it seems like they're all just interviewing her and she's getting more clout. We're trying to stop her clout. We're trying to get her to see that her natural skin is beautiful and she ain't got to do all of this and this and this to pretend to be black or biracial. But the fact that she's still denying that she's, she's in modern day blackface is really scary actually. This is not the end, guys. We're going to keep promoting. We're going to keep talking about this. And not just this topic, but any topic. Any topic that is important, you take your stand. When people tell you to stop talking about it, it doesn't matter. You take your stand.
You know how many people told me, stop talking about it. Oh, I'm done talking about this. Oh, you're still talking about this? And it made me feel like, dang, am I uh, annoying y'all? Am I beating a dead horse? No. That's why I said it was us. Shout out to the people that said, no, Ilaho, you keep going. We're going to continue this movement for real. I would love you guys to support um, my, my merch collection. No spray tan needed. Which basically is a message to love the skin that you're in. You don't need a spray tan. If you tan naturally, that's great. If you spray tan for health reasons, fine. But to just be spraying yourself in blackness, modern day blackface. I'll have the link in my bio. It will also be in the description box. So you can go ahead and check it out. Purchase something today. Let me know. Once you get it, tag me. I'll repost you. Like, we're going to make this a thing. You know, I tried to make the prices really affordable so everyone can buy a piece. Everyone can support. And let's continue this movement, guys. Thank you.